temperature of the water going into the radiator. Right now the pump, when it blinks, it means it's an on and off mode. So because the temperature is far from the target, this being the target, 211, then the uh, pump, right now it's probably on 10 seconds, off 30 seconds until it gets closer to the target. You can adjust the target by this button. So right now it's at 211, you can change it like this. Now one bad thing is they only put one button, so if you want it lower, you gotta go all the way around to the temperature you want your target to be. So let's say I want 215. Of course 215 is higher than 211, so I didn't have to go all the way around. I'm just trying to show how it works. There's 215, then you hold it down until it blinks. There's your new target. When the when the, it hits near the target, it got, starts going from 10 on, 30 off to 10 on, 10 off, and then it goes into PWM. That means it it pumps all the time, but at a slower speed. And when it hits the target, then it stays on full speed. And then when it goes five degrees above the target, the fans kick in the, to cool down the radiator. As you can see, there's going to be some difference between the water going into the radiator and the water coming out of the head, which is your normal coolant temperature that your you know your car uh, uses. A, this is, there's two different. The pump has a separate coolant temperature uh, sensor. Okay, well, I'll, I'll video again when it gets closer to the operating range.